Hi everyone, Jen here today for Country Craft Creations. And I have completed my first project uh, in the series that I was explaining before that I will be doing on reintroducing some of the absolutely gorgeous papers um, that Tamara has come out with exclusive for Country Craft Creations. Um, one of them is this Majestic Dreams. And I have created a album for this. And this is a five and a half by seven and a half album. And I did not want this to be an overly embellished album. Therefore, we just have a wrapped uh, chipboard uh, image on the front. I did take a piece of the cardstock and ran that through a embossing folder. And that black cardstock I then brushed with a, um, a rub-on wax. I kind of wanted this to have the look of um, like tanned leather to kind of go with this horse theme like a saddle would have, uh, a really embellished saddle. On the back here, I've just taken one of the images from the cut aparts in the paper collection, backed that with black paper, and put that on the back here. Now, I will tell you, uh, this album has been through a couple different changes, um, so I wanted to make sure that in my walkthrough I explained those. Um, the, the first one being, I made one of uh, Tamara's waterfalls the mechanical waterfalls that she does. And I will do my best to get a tutorial on how to do that um, because I created mine along with her. She creates one in full in her newest um, project, which was the um, 4th of July album that she created. And I'll make sure that I do um, add something below uh, a link to that so that you can find that um, pretty easily because as I said, I created that with her. Um, with her lives and I did not um, record myself doing that so I don't have my own tutorial. Um, also the lay flat method of Tamara's was used here. Um, if you're not familiar with that I will try to put that link down as well. Uh, most people uh, are pretty familiar with Tamara's lay flat method. It's how we put our chipboard um, covers and spines together for a nice um, lay flat method. I have done the first portion of this, um, the first inside page. I've left this. I love this paper. So rather than putting a pocket here or a belly band or anything, I left this so that a five by seven photo could easily be put on this page, a four by six. Um, but you could add a pocket here if that's something that you prefer, if you don't like that open look of the first page. And I do have in my tutorial, uh, going on forward after this walkthrough, um, I have a tutorial on all of the pages and how I created them. Um, there are a few snafus along the way, and um, I did leave those so that uh, you can see that, um, one, I'm not perfect. I don't think any of us are, and that there is possibilities to fix things if you have an oops. So I will tell you, I've also used um, some of the Graphic 45 dies. Um, for this, I used the uh, tag and pocket, tag, pocket, and butterfly you know, set, and I used these two pieces from that, and that I've used a couple of times in my album. Um, if you don't have these, you can very easily use um, a different shaped die. You may have the Heartfelt Creations um, tag and pocket dies that T uh, Tamara did have in the shop. Um, there are many tag dies out there with embellished edges that you can use. You can even use an edged die uh, that's just made to make this pretty edge. There are punches out there that do this. Or you could simply do it in a square. It's um, it's just a matter of preference. So how I did that was I um, put magnets on this portion here. And I covered both sides of the paper so that when you open it, you see that beautiful image. And then this first page here has two flaps that open. So you have room for photos here and here, as well as here. Okay. And like I said, there are two magnets here, one for each of these pages and two magnets, one on each underneath. And that is how this closes. Our next page here is an image uh, from the paper. And I also have put a um, couple of die cuts here from my stash. This is a stitched um, uh, rectangle die set that I had. Uh, you could cut these in squares just as easily. And then, as you can see, I used one of the cut-aparts 
uh, that is included in the collection to make this little tuck spot for a photo. And this tucks all the way up, so you can go all the way up with the picture. Uh, this page here, I have a black photo mat that had um, some scraps of the um, My Colors Aquatini and the Artisan um, Barn Red cardstock here. And then I used one of the cut aparts. And you could add a magnet closure or a string or something here. I did not do that with mine. On this next page here, we have a nice little notched pocket. Um, I will tell you that I use my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to make my notches, uh, but this can also be done with a circle punch or um, you can cut it out yourself anyway. There's lots of different types of notch pockets. And on the inside here, I have created a, this is a four and a half by six, and this is black cardstock, so I took four and a half by 12 and folded that in half. And now this can go this way or this way, and there is room for four photos on this. And this is just an ivory cardstock that I have used um, from my stash. This next page is super fun. This is a gatefold uh, with a closure. I have done these before in my albums. Um, this is not a design of mine. I honestly could not tell you where I first saw this design, um, but I did see this, um, I, I believe, somewhere on Pinterest or YouTube. Um, I do not remember um, exactly who created this. Um, here I have just taken a piece of black cardstock, one of the cut aparts, and this acts as our closure with these two little pockets here. And when you open, I do have a belly band. And uh, this is just an embossed piece of paper that I put in here to use um, to show you how that works. And this is this exact way I started um, to create the, the piece on my spine. And I just rubbed black embossed cardstock with um, a wax that was in a, I believe it was a rose gold finish, and it just turned it into what looked like leather to me, and I love that look. So this is all embellished, and then we just stick our little um, photo mat back in there, and it keeps that closed. This next page here, uh, this, Tamara did these um, also in that, uh, in Fourth of July album that she created, these fun pages with the scraps where you take your scraps and you cut them into strips and then you place them on a piece of paper and then trim it down and you get this beautiful um, collage of all the different papers. And I just love that. That's a wonderful way to use your scraps. And then I've mounted um, some black and some of the barn red cardstock on here. And this here measures four and an eighth by four and an eighth. And I did that for uh, just a smaller picture and then used one of the cut aparts here for a tuck spot. So you could just stick your picture right in there or anything that you want to put there. This next page, again, one of the cut aparts. And I have taken black cardstock that is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And um, it was technically, it was nine or excuse me, eight and a half folded to make four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I've used one of the cut aparts of that beautiful horse. And when you open this, you have two um, photo mats inside. Back here, this little page was pretty fun. So this page I've used a lot and I go over this in my tutorial. I've used a lot of the um, cut aparts and just made my own little kind of collaged um, tuck spot by doing that and I've added some fussy cuts flowers from the paper and I made a few tags here that match and those just slide in there and it's just fun you could you could put a picture here um, you could do the tags you do anything you like this is a mirror image of this page here however our base um, closure it's magneted just like the other one our closure here was done a little bit longer so that I could close the whole page and do something a little different than the first. This one, I did not cover the back of the paper. However, that is optional. So you have these two fun photo mats here. When you flip this, I've used one sheet of the paper and cut from it one part of the seam so that these kind of went together um, when you opened it up. And you can put pictures here, you can put pictures here. Um, and I just, I love these fun little ways to make pages. 
Uh, this page here is another, as you can see, one of those beautiful um, collage papers that I learned by watching Tamara. Uh, I have some fussy cuts here and then our pocket covered with paper and another double-sided 4x6 uh, photo map. I do believe I made these. Uh, yes, these are 4 and a half by 6 and a half. That way you can get a whole 4x6 photo on here. So here is where this gets tricky. In my tutorial, this was originally a page um, back here. I can't remember the exact page, but it did not work. Um, I, I have quarter inch uh, spaces here in between on my spine, and it just did not fit properly for the album. So then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to put it in the back, which can be done like is done in my tutorial. The Mechanical Waterfall, when I created this along with Tamara, I made it too wide for my album. So when putting it here, when this would close, it would wrinkle the side of my waterfall. Now, if you wanted to switch these and put the pocket here or leave this one um, blank like I did the first one, you can do that and put this here because we have a half of an inch of space here as opposed to the quarter inch that's on the front because of the way that I placed the spine. And you will see that um, it's kind of an oops, which is also in my tutorial. So what I've done is I have gone in and I have added this pocket here and removed the uh, mechanical waterfall from this page and put it on the back because this way we don't get that. Now, I made my mechanical waterfall. Um, mine are five and an eighth and the four inches that Tamara did as far as height. So if you wanted to put this on a page, on this page here rather than the back, um, I would suggest cutting these to four and three quarters wide. Um, maybe five, but you're probably still going to get that little bit of edge that's going to bend. As you can see, some of my um, little waterfall pages here are a little bent. So if you haven't seen this yet, this is um, Tamara's fun little mechanical waterfall, and that's uh, who I learned how to make it from. And it just gives you all these fun pages. And I've used um, Artisan cardstock and my Colors cardstock for the covering of my pages. And then I used one of the cut-aparts backed with a black chipboard to make it a little more sturdy for my pull. And that just goes right up in there. So that is my album. And uh, I hope you stay tuned and watch my tutorial for the pages. Um, these are also, I actually, I did forget to show you, there are, I did not put anything in them, um, but there are two pages that are pocket pages. So the second set of pages, um, is a pocket page. Okay. And you could add something to that. And the last, uh, second to the last one is also a pocket page. Um, that you could add a photo mat to, which I will do if I give this as a gift. I just did not put anything in there um, for the sake of this album. So anyways, as I was saying, I hope that you um, stay tuned for my tutorial. And um, please excuse any of my little oopses that I have made along the way with this album. And I hope that you have a wonderful crafty day. Thanks for watching.